Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquee of Living Streams bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I like to capture my thoughts with the words destructive comparisons. You know, I mean, destructive, something that destroys. Comparisons, that is to compare something to something. And my story is still taken from 1 Kings chapter 19. If you remember when uh, in ch chapter 18, Elijah, powerful move of God, powerful, dangerous move of God. And God really answered with fire. And, uh, man, I just wish I can pray down fire from heaven. I, I really, I really do. But the Bible says when the issue or the event was rehearsed in the ears of Jezebel, or oh, Jezebel responded. And Jezebel's response was a very vicious response. Jezebel's response was a response of rejection. Jezebel's response was a response of anger and extreme vitriolic language. I mean, boy, she said, I'm going to damage you. I'm going to do something to you. And then Elijah got into depression. And Elijah's depression was so serious that the Bible said Elijah then, uh, hearing Jezebel, hearing Jezebel's voice, Elijah then goes out to tell God that, listen, I am not better than my fathers. Elijah says, I'm not better than my fathers. Elijah was in despair. Elijah was discouraged. Elijah was despondent. Elijah was depressed. And in his depression, in his discouragement, in his despondency and despair, he threw out a language that was very, very dangerous. He said, I am not better than any of my fathers. Now, Elijah began to compare himself to his fathers. That, by, the, by the way, which fathers is he talking about? Of course, then he's talking about the fathers like the Moses and the Abrahams and the Isaacs and the Jacobs. But perhaps that, because Elijah has no, as far as we are aware, he has no pedigree. He just introduced us and Elijah the Tishbite. So he just entered the scene just like that. So with fathers, of course, I would assume he's talking about the fallen fathers, the fathers who have gone on before. The, the people that we see now praise we great and famous men. The famous men in the Bible was talking about them. And he was saying he was no better. Elijah began to compare himself to them. Now here's the question I want to ask. Which of his fathers prayed down fire from heaven? Jacob prayed down fire from heaven. Isaac prayed down fire from heaven. Who prayed down fire from heaven? Samson. Samson didn't pray down for fire from heaven. Who else? Deborah. No. Abraham prayed down for fire from heaven. No. He wasn't even praying against the fire falling from heaven. Remember Sodom and Gomorrah. So what are you talking about? What was he trying to compare himself? Now here's the principle, be very careful, because in your moment of despair, despondence and discouragement and depression, what happens is that the enemy will begin to sing songs of comparison into your ears. Look at that person, look at that person, you see how that person, why not you, and, you, and all those things, begin to compare you to other people. The, your, your failure is going to stare at you in a very powerful way, and other people's success is going to scream at you and force you into depression. Elijah began to compare himself with other people. But everybody is on his own line. Everybody is walking his own road. Everybody is pursuing his own destiny. Yours, there are turns and twists and turns in it. That person too may have twists and turns. Each and every one to him, his own warfare. And therefore, you can't compare yourself to other people. It becomes destructive. It will tear away your self-confidence. It will hurt your standing. It will pull, away, it will pull you away from the altar of prayer. It will pull you, it will break down your, your, your walls of faith, your pillars of faith. It will break them all down. It will remove you from the, the canopy of confidence. It is going to hurt you real bad because they are dangerous comparisons. You can't do that. Destructive in its sense, in everything that it holds. Never compare yourself to others because the Bible says comparing themselves one to another, they became as fools. The benchmarks are different. The calls are different. The purposes are different. Each and every one has a calling to fulfill. Each and every one has something to do. Yours may be a different song altogether. Don't allow what you're going through bring you to the 
place of destructive comparisons. Well, of course, the choice is yours. See you later.